Is anybody glad in the room for Jesus? Is there anybody that's glad in this room for Jesus? Before we quit, can you sing that tonight? Say Jesus.
This world has nothing for me. Sing, I need you, Jesus, to come to my rescue. Where else can I go? There's no other name by which I am saved. I need you, Jesus, to come to my rescue. Where else can I go? There's no other name by which I am saved. Capture me with grace. Won't you capture me? Hey, man. 
when we walked from the square into Bourbon Street singing hallelujah, the look on the people's faces was just an astonishment. You could just feel the Holy Spirit fall in that moment in time, and it was just so powerful. I didn't expect to um, to be crying in the middle of the street for somebody who's, you know, cussing me out. We marched into Bourbon Street singing hallelujah. Uh, you close your eyes and you just feel the peace of God like you're in one of those super anointed church services where the manifest presence of God is just hovering in there and you just have that feeling. There is a peace that you can't explain that. And to the natural mind, it doesn't comprehend when the power of God shows up with signs and wonders following. And then when we knelt down, it was just perfect peace and there was like this hush and you know, in the square. The kids were just adorable and they were thankful for everything. I mean, they let you sit down and talk to them. It was totally different than Bourbon Street where you go up to someone and you try to talk to them and they either walk away or, or cuss at you where a little kid, you're like, hey, can I just sit down and talk to you? And, and they let you. When we went into those projects, and the way how people's hearts opened and softened as they came out of their apartments. And they weren't afraid to open their doors once you said you were part of a raven. Yeah. It was like they knew who you were, they knew they were going to get loved. If this Bible is real, if this book is really your word and you are the God of this Bible, show me and I'll give you my life. If not, leave me alone and let me die. I opened up and I found Proverbs chapter 2, verse 1. And God said to me, my son, God said to me, my son. And I said to my father, Father, my father. nothing to fear the power of God is with us he goes forth and you get to just see the glory of God and you get to see people's lives change it's what a privilege feeling the presence of God seeing the power and the boldness that he gives you man it's, it's life-changing I'll be like the man with one talent that said I knew you to be a hard man until I just buried it and did nothing with it. At least try. At least try and fail. Because trying and failing but obeying, trusting and obeying God is always more successful than just doing nothing. It 
shows who you're pledging your life's allegiance to. So a good and evil is clearly defined and sin and righteousness is clearly defined and it is very evident what side you're on. Sin's abounding but you know righteousness and grace abounds way more.